More troops being sent overseas. And that's why we train and that's why we do these drills and, and that's why that we practice um, getting ready to deploy so much so that we can be ready at a moment's notice to go out and do what we need to do for our country. And veteran Jeremy Harrell says the most recent airstrike on a powerful Iranian general is another reminder of why hundreds of thousands choose to serve. These soldiers and, and, and just the military in general that serve in each and every day, predominantly most of them love what they do and they love why they do it. For the first time in a long time, panic arose over a possible draft. I don't think we'll ever need another draft. You know, it would have to be something very catastrophic. He says times are different. Like for example, September 11th when that happened, you know, uh, I had friends who were recruiting and they were talking about how we, we had lines out the door of folks coming in wanting to join because they want to do something big and, and help their, you know, serve their country. And so I think that's what would always happen if we have these major you know, catastrophes or conflict. Referring to his service as his calling. It's probably the most honorable thing I've ever done. He says many other veterans he works with have the same mentality. I would do it again in a heartbeat and if they called me today, I'd go.